Everybody, I'm Barry McKnight with Jerry Miller. James Madison wins the first two games of the series, and they go for the sweep today. Troy needs to win. Whoever wins this game will be in third place. Fastball, that's hit in the air, left field. Back will go the left fielder, Brooks Bryan, battling the sun, and he'll make the catch, and for the first time in three games, JMU doesn't score in their... Swing and a miss. He gets him with the high fastball. Pitch to the plate, bounces up there. The runner will take off. Throw down is going to be in time, and they get him. That's a nice throw down by Sutton from his knees. Pfeiffer. Stewart's 3 2. Swung on and missed. And the Dukes will go down in the third. But that's it into the center field deep. Trimble goes back, he goes back, he goes back, he looks up, and that's out of here. A solo home run from Cole Myers over the dead center field wall. Trimble went back and just short-stepped it to the wall, realizing he had no chance at that one, and Troy is on the board, and it's a 3-1 game in favor of the Dukes. You've got to expect all speed on that first pitch. If you were going to send him a fastball, this is knocked down by the pitcher. He's going to have to hustle to get a play anyway. He throws from his right hip, and cannot get him out. He swing and a miss, pulled the string, got yeah. him to swing over the top of it, back-to-back -back strikeouts. There's They've led all but one inning of the entire series. That's laced into left field. That'll get down for a base hit. Langley will cut it off. He'll hold Malk to a long single. And again, Troy will get the tying run to the plate. Again, working deliberately, comes to the plate. That's the breaking pitch, hit high deep down the right field line, fair or foul. It is a fair ball home run and Peyton Watts has tied the ball game. He left that one hanging over the plate and Watts got every bit of it, a tiring shot to tie this ball game, 3-3. Well, that was just a an opening on the right side. Myers is gonna take off for third to throw down. Not in time. He slides in under the back. Let's see if uh -oh. he's okay. Uh-oh, we'll see. 3-2 pitch bounces up and away. P catcher can't find it. Shane Lewis is going to score the go-ahead run on the wild pitch. 3-2, hit hard. It'll be Cobb going to his left. He gets to it. Can he throw him out? He does. A strike from Tremaine Cobb retires Coleman Calabrese. And one of the best DH, DH hitters in the league. Goes the opposite way with another base hit. Splits the gap between short and third and two aboard with one down. We do appreciate it. I know the viewers do as well. One, two, fastball, got him swinging for the first out of the seventh inning. Three and two, again. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. And that's the inning. One, one, one. Deep, deep to right field. Holy smokes, that may hit the fitness center. Two run home run for Shane Lewis. He'll salute double tally in the final game of the regular year. That is what the Troy Possibly the best base runner in the league. 2-2. Two -two. Liner right center field, base hit, ticketed possibly for the alley. Racing over is O'Donnell and he'll get there and keep Kavanaugh to a single. Sure at one ball, two strikes. Right-hander throws. Deep to left field on the run is Langley. Diving play, no, not gonna get there. Bangs off the wall to doubles alley and Butcher is in at second base with his 21st double of the year. Kevin on a third. Polly ready, pitch to Cobb. Ground ball, left side, yes, it's through. Base hit, scoring is Kavanaugh. As the throw comes in, everybody else. Andrews game won the day despite 10 hits. He got 10 hits in this game. Myers, Mo, Mock punches it into left field, past Dunaway. One run is in. Coming up throwing Langley. Pitch grounded to the first baseman. Big hop for Butcher. He'll go to second for one on the first. And safe over there ahead against Ross on Thursday in his only other at bat. Swings and rolls this to second base. Jaden Sloan gets it, throws to first, and it's in time. Way and do lock down that third seat, so that was the importance of this game for both clubs. Uh, both will head to Montgomery now in the uh, Sunbelt uh, 
tournament there, and that should be a good one for all the folks who get to go and watch that. JMU will open at four on Wednesday. The Trojans open Wednesday at nine o'clock in the Sunbelt Tournament starting on Wednesday. Again, your final score in the regular season finale, Troy 11 and James Madison 3.